Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Laparoscopic Appendectomy. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be assisting you with this surgery today. An appendectomy is needed when there is a blockage between a patient's appendix and intestine. The blockage develops over time and may cause occasional pain. However, left untreated, the patient's appendix could burst, causing severe internal infection and potentially death. Today we'll be using a minimally invasive technique called laparoscopy to remove our patient's appendix. Laparoscopy reduces the exposure of internal organs to contaminants, shortens recovery time, and results in less post-operative scarring. Our patient is a female in her 20s that has been experiencing severe pain in her mid-abdomen, vomiting, and a mild fever. These are all common symptoms of appendicitis. Let's scrub in before this gets any worse. Our patient has already been prepped and is sedated, thanks to our dedicated nursing staff and anesthesiologist. First, we'll insert an endotracheal, or breathing tube, in the patient's mouth and into her throat to help her breathe during the operation. Since I've already taken care of inserting a catheter into her bladder, we can move on to more important steps. Thanks to the advancements in medical technology, our patient doesn't have to be cut open to have her appendix removed. Instead, we'll strategically place special surgical instruments, called trocars, through small incisions in her abdomen to perform the surgery. We'll begin by making one small incision in her upper abdomen, one in her lower abdomen, and one in her navel, also known as the belly button. You handled that like a pro. Now we need to pump carbon dioxide gas into the patient's abdomen to obtain a better look at the surgical area. Next, we need to insert our laparoscopic camera through the umbilical trocar. Images from the camera are projected on our monitor to allow us to inspect our patient's abdomen and confirm that the appendix is infected. The inflamed and swollen area you see is the patient's appendix. Our next step is to remove it before it becomes an even greater problem for our patient. The appendicular artery needs to be sealed using a diathermic instrument which uses extreme heat to cauterize the artery. The artery is then divided using scissors. So far, so good. Keep it up. The appendix now needs to be lassoed with a detachable snare. Take the detachable snare and slide it over the appendix all the way to the base. Repeat this step two more times, placing two more loops above the first one. Almost there. Now we need to remove the appendix. Use the scissors to snip between the loops. Notice that when you snip, a little pus comes out, indicating that the appendix is infected. Don't worry about it though, we'll clean up everything. To remove the appendix from the abdomen, place it into this specimen bag and pull it out through the trocar. Now onto the cleanup. We've inserted a device that sprays saline into the abdomen. Move it around so that everything gets sprayed clean. With a flick of a switch, our saline is suctioned back into the same device. Finally, we'll remove the trocars and close the incisions with a few surgical staples. Excellent work! The length of the inpatient care and the recovery process following an appendectomy usually varies based on the severity of the appendicitis and the person's age. Luckily, our patient is relatively young and healthy, and we caught her condition early. She should be clear to go home within a day if there are no complications. After being released from the hospital, it is recommended that she limit her physical activity to help the tissues heal faster but she will need to walk short distances several times a day to speed up the recovery process. 
She should make a full recovery from her appendectomy within four to six weeks since her appendix did not rupture. Had it ruptured, a full recovery may have taken up to eight weeks. And that's an appendectomy. You did amazing. Why not try your surgical skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com?